Hi, this is Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossings. Today, we are joined by a legendary band known as Old Crow Medicine Show. Based in Nashville, Tennessee, members of the Grand Old Opry, Old Crow Medicine Show started together in 1998 and marking their 21st anniversary as a group with the release of their version of a 1966 Bob Dylan CD called 50 Years of Blonde on Blonde. In 2014, they won a Grammy Award for Best Folk Album with their ninth CD, Remedy. Their 2004 hit, Wagon Wheel, was certified platinum and features their own idol, Bob Dylan, who co-wrote the song with the band. Today, Border Crossings brings you the best from Music City, its Old Crow Medicine Show. Hi, I'm Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossing. It's great to have you. Today is a very special show. They're on tour for a brand new album, album number 10 for Old Crow Medicine Show. They're in our studios, and we'd like to welcome the guys to D.C. It's great to have you guys here. Thanks. It's Thank great you. to be on Voice of America. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on, I believe, this is your 20th year. Well, coming up on it, we, we formed in the fall of 1998, so we're, uh, we're just shy of that 20-year mark. And you guys sang on the streets, originally on the street corners, busking, I guess is the official word for it. Yeah, we started as a, as a street corner busking band, playing for the hat, playing for nickels and dimes all across North America. Uh, Doc Watson caught you in front of a drugstore. Yeah, now some of your listeners might not know uh, Doc Watson, but he's a very iconic American musician, a blind guitar player from Deep Gap, North Carolina, who uh, really brought um, a, a very primitive form of American folk music back to uh, popular consciousness in the 1960s after it was under serious decline and a risk that it would have gone away forever. Doc Watson and a handful of other American musicians really preserved this very rich cultural fabric of American folk song from, from the southern Appalachians. Can you introduce us to everybody in the band? Love to. The whole family here. Well, I'm going to start over here on my left on the fiddle from Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, Chance McCoy. My name is Ketch Secor. I'm from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Uh, from, uh, from San Antonio, Texas, on the, band, on the guitar here is Critter Fuquay. This is Corey Yance from Nashville, Tennessee on the mandolin. On the doghouse bass, that's the big upright here from Chattanooga, that's Morgan Janig. And Mr. Kevin Hayes from Boston, Mass on the six string Git Joe. Let's hear what it sounds like, fellas. <laughs> Now, now you put the band together, Catch. I mean, you were the well, original. Well, I would say it was a great and powerful spirit that brought the band together <laughs> and 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 sewed us all over with a, a thread of divinity. Mm. But a couple of you were met in school when you were like little kids. I yeah, guess. well, Critter and I we met in the seventh grade. We were doing a, a sketch about piracy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> now, how did you come up with the name Old Crow Medicine Show? I was coming back from a job in another profession washing dishes when it occurred to me that I didn't want to be washing dishes no more. And so uh, I thought I would better come up with a good band name, something catchy, something that sounds sort of faintly old-timey or vaudevillian. Uh, the kind of music that we play we call American Roots music. Mm -hmm. uh, and American Roots music stretches into a lot of different uh, cultural places. Um, but primarily this is the music this is the the music in which the fiddle meets the banjo mm -hmm. so the american violin roots the fiddle are tend to be from the british isles and uh, the banjo's roots are from west africa mm -hmm. so country music as you know it today and, and american roots music is really from that kind of big bang in which the african banjo uh, meets the, the the gaelic fiddle here on the shores of north america uh, in the in the 18th century uh, so this is a the, the banjo was brought over by American slaves um, who uh, who built banjos when they came here um, based on um, the West African style of banjo a gourd banjo a little different than what you'd see here mm -hmm. and uh, and they found this great cross pollination uh, even though uh, there was a lot a heavy cost to pay there was an artistic merit that came out of these hard times in American history. Mm -hmm. So how did you get interested in Americana music? I mean, growing up, your influence, obviously I see Bob Dylan is a major influence, but beyond that, I mean, what made you decide this was the direction you wanted to pursue? Well, we, uh, we, sure, we sure, each one of us had a kind of entertainer streak in us. 
Um, you know, if you've got it in your blood and you got to be on the stage, whether it's as a tap dancer or as a ballerina, whatever you're into, um, we just happen to find traditional American music. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that we that caught us on fire. We, we've played music all around the country and uh, and we are members of, of a really wonderful radio broadcast that you can listen to around the world called the Grand Old Opry. The Grand Old Opry is America's longest continually running radio broadcast. It's on every Friday and Saturday night broadcast from our hometown of Nashville, Tennessee, and it's a variety show. And you can listen to it on, a, on, a, on the Internet around the globe, and many people do. Mm -hmm. Well, not only is Nashville known as Music City, but... Of course, uh, the hockey team's doing well, and everybody's been paying attention to your, your hockey team in Nashville. Go is, Predators! There you go. There you go. Old Crow Medicine Show. On our show today, we're going to ask if you guys <laughs> nice, would do a, a little uh, song for us, a number. We'd, We'd love, love to. Hear some to. Live let's, music. let's play one. Here's one off of our brand new record. It's called 50 Years of Blonde on Blonde. Our track is called, obviously, Five Believers. <laughs> Crow Medicine Show, live on The Voice of America. You guys sound great. I'm telling you, that, that, you know, you say that you want to have the energy of Nirvana. That's what I've read a few times. And oh. you guys, uh, you really put it out there. You lay it all out. Larry, I don't know what time it is in Nigeria, but here in Washington, <laughs> D.C., it's bright and early. <laughs> So that is a that's a that's a real hot shot of coffee right there. That's kind quite the pleasant. elixir to, to hit that tune at this hour. But we're really excited to be reaching this audience. We've never been on this broadcast before and are learning so much about it. Uh, this is so exciting. 75 years you all have been broadcasting? 75 years, 100 countries. And Amazing. 270 million people around the world Whoa. right now meeting the Old Crow Medicine Show. 
Wow, yeah. that's that's really exciting. Howdy, everybody. We're <laughs> now, the old crows from Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Ketch is an interesting name. I mean, you know, I'm sure you've asked your parents what was the story behind the name Ketch. What huh? gives, Mom? What gives, Mom? What'd she tell you? She said that it was a family name mm -hmm. and that uh, I was stuck with it. <laughs> it's a verb, but uh, for me, it's a, a proper pronoun, uh, Ooh, as you it You guys were. are something else. 50 years of Blonde on Blonde. Okay, so why did you decide that this was the album you guys wanted to, to you know, bring back, bring back to life? An album originally done by Bob Dylan in the 60s, 66. And you guys said, hey, okay, let's do our, our tribute to, to Bob Dylan. Well, it was an exciting opportunity to celebrate this milestone. Fifty years ago, Bob Dylan came to our hometown of Nashville, Tennessee, and made and recorded pop music's very first double album. Mm -hmm. So, before the White Album, many other records that would have been would, that you would think are the first double record. Uh, this was the first double record. It was made in Nashville by Nashville studio musicians. Uh, and Nashville's um, scope of, of musical output was pretty narrow before this. They certainly weren't making rock records, um, and particularly the, the kind of uh, avant-garde uh, record that Bob made there with songs that include 15-verse tunes that go on for, you know, 14 minutes long with no chorus and jumbled and um, almost like disembodied poetry or... Uh, really indebted to Lawrence Ferlinghetti or um, great American poets of the era like um, Allen Ginsberg, Kerouac. You know, this is a, a it's a really bold statement for Nashville, which uh, was not really a very progressive town up at that at that point. Mm -hmm. But by coming to Nashville, Bob swung the gates wide open, uh, thus leaving a crack wide enough for Old Crow to slip through. Because we're not very standard fare in Nashville either. If you're out there and uh, wherever you're tuned in from, if you were able to listen to a broadcast of American country music, unless it was a classic station or music from 30, 40 years ago, you're, you're generally going to hear something that's called country music that sounds nothing like what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, country music has had its real commercial fare. It sort of sounds like that, that underbed you just played. <laughs> right? Yeah. Am I wrong about that? <laughs> Somebody got, else chime in here. We've got man. a new bed now. Thank you, Catch. I appreciate that. We'll, we'll be using that from Have now. at it, man. <laughs> so you guys have met Bob Dylan and worked with Bob Dylan before? No, we never met the guy. Mm -hmm. But you met uh, his son, I, I read somewhere, that you and Jacob Dylan had uh, connected. Yeah, we, we've connected with Jacob. We've worked extensively with Bob's management through this project. Um, we've heard uh, we've heard word that Bob likes the band, but uh, not from his lips. Mm -hmm. so. so you know you're true to your your passion because obviously you're not you know as you said the country music charts are very different. Um, although you guys have won two Grammys, but it must be very difficult to get you know onto the country music charts. You want a number one song, you know, bluegrass, folk, Americana. It's pretty hard to to get a, a number one song on the charts. But I think if anybody can do it, you guys can do it. It's, I don't. Mm. I don't. <laughs> we don't need them. We, you know, don't need them. Uh, right. We we tried to play ball, but we realized we don't need to play ball with those guys because we got our own really cool ballpark. Mm -hmm. That's right. You carved your own niche, and people really love what you're doing. It do, you... We tried to bridge it with a video once, and it just didn't work. And it's great. I mean, there's there are kind of two worlds in Nashville, mm -hmm. and uh, I like to think of us as really good barbecue. It's really low and slow, and it's going to be there after the, you know, the Cheetos are all gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that. Are you guys... You can take that to the bank. <laughs> are, are you guys touring internationally or just... A, a little here? bit. Yeah, not, not heavily internationally. We've, we've played heavily internationally. But on this tour, we will be in, in, uh, in Scotland, England, and Holland mm -hmm. uh, all within the next 30 or 40 or 50 days. Mm -hmm. How do the uh, international audience you should play for respond? I mean, it's kind of different. You guys are a novelty to people outside of the United States. I think it, uh, the British Isles, Ireland, Scotland, uh, so much of the fiddle stuff and the ballads come from there. I think they feel a real kinship to bluegrass music. Um, I think not. Not it doesn't become a novelty on the continent. I think uh, you know Amsterdam is really eclectic. Is really. Um, just smart about their taste in music and uh everywhere we've gone they love it well we're thrilled to have you in our studio so if you guys would do another song for us that would oh be yeah let's switch them up who's gonna pass left and who's gonna pass right i'm gonna pass this way 
Thanks for the fiddle bow there, Mr. McCoy. Yes, sir. Let's keep it entertaining now. All right, a little huck, huck and jive. Is there room on the dance floor for this next number? <laughs> They're dancing in Nigeria. Right. Old Crow Medicine Show. All right, boys. I'm feeling a little <clears throat> jaundiced now, so I'm going to brighten it up with this next little number. <clears throat> Get that thing in tune now. That'll work. There you go. show <laughs> live on the voice of america so you're the tour that you're doing right now you do all the songs from the album blonde on blonde is that correct yes we're 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 uh, we're, we're playing all the songs off of blonde on blonde so that's kind of a unique concept i guess that's something kind of recent that to do a whole album as your tour it's kind of a curveball for the audience but here we're coming up on 20 years and it's it's time to throw a curveball it was either dark side of the moon or blonde on blonde <laughs> it was a real real toss up <laughs> But you guys, you know, having fun selling out everywhere you go. I mean, and your regulars in D.C. I mean, I see that you've been here a number of times before in this particular market. Uh, have you played at the White House before? No, we have not played at the White House. Well, we'll see if we can get you in. Yeah, see if you can do that. That'd be fun. Get you an invitation. Now, if people want to get in touch with you, find out where you're touring, write you, check you out on the social media sites, where would they go? Well, we've got uh, a website called crowmedicine.com. You can take a look at that or... Uh, Buy our record on the uh, at your local independent record store, uh, in wherever wherever you're shopping for records, mm -hmm. you can find our records there. We we did want to say a special uh, howdy to all of our U.S. servicemen and women listening out there. Um, we uh, we're particularly proud to have fans in uh, military families around the world. We live right by Fort Campbell, so if you are out and abroad and you're missing your bluegrass fields of Kentucky, um, know that we're thinking about you guys, you men and women, and we hope that you come home safe and soon. Mm. Have you done any of the USO tours? Uh, no, but uh, you tell them. You tell well, them right. to have us. All right. I'll work, put that on the list. Because we'd, like... we'd love to get those flak jackets on and head in country, man. <laughs> Bring those fiddles and banjos. Well, well you know, the, the new album is uh, doing well. It just came out not too long ago, I guess a couple weeks ago. So uh, congratulations on that and, and the tour that's going on. We ask if you do another song for us. It'd be a great pleasure to. What's well, the name fellas, of this song? They're hearing us all around the world right now on The Voice of America. And I can't think of a more American statement than this next little number. This one's called Rock Me Mama Like a Wagon Wheel.
To Johnson City, Tennessee, and I gotta get a move on there for the sun. I hear my baby calling my name. I know that she's the only one. And if I die in Raleigh, Miss I will die free. Crow Medicine Show, Wagon Wheel. What a great song. Sold over a million copies. You guys uh, won two Grammy Awards. Uh, that must be, I mean, it, highlights. What's been the highlight for you so far? Probably the Rockingham County Fair in Virginia. <laughs> oh, I'll awesome. bet. I'll bet. But I know you've been on the road with, uh, you performed with John Mellencamp, and you did a Woody Guthrie show, and, and Charlie Pride, and quite a few others. So, I mean, Yeah, we've gotten to be around a lot of our heroes. Um, Willie Nelson. Loretta Willie Lynn, Nelson. Dolly Parton. We we got to sit in Neil Young's car. Really? Yeah, man, what a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy Jack. So so many. Um, but every every day it seems like this band has a new a new high water mark, mm -hmm. and I think it's particularly uh, exciting knowing that we're reaching so many people right now all around the world. Mm -hmm. They get to share this music with them, share a little bit of our story with them. And, uh, and help them understand what we're doing over here in the United States of America. Um, that this stuff, this fiddle and this banjo stuff, this is it. This You all gave us these things. Mm -hmm. We're the ones that turned it into rock and roll. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but we couldn't have done it without the uh, with the pioneering efforts of the great gifts that were brought to these shores. Mm. And you had, in, in past interviews, I've watched you refer to the music as old time. You said that earlier, which is, you know, I mean, that's exactly what this is. You took it and you gave it new life, and that's great. I mean, that's one of the wonderful things about Old Crow Medicine Show is that you keep this music alive and, and you keep it compelling and entertaining. And so on behalf of the worldwide audience, thank you. Yeah, Larry, thank for, you. For coming in and bringing us this great music, 50 Years of Blonde on Blonde. How many times have you been on the Grand Ole Opry? I know you got inducted to the Grand Ole Opry in 2012 or something, but how many? Well, they, they, you got to play it 10 times a year if you're a member. That's the law. Okay. Or else they come and find you. Uh, they, uh, they, <laughs> I think we've done it 90 or 100 times. It, wow. It's a really wonderful broadcast. So it, it's been coming up close to 100 years now. Mm hmm uh, since they've been in business, I think 91 years now that, that they've been this long-running radio show. And, you know, there's something about radio and live music that I don't think that any technology is ever going to get more impressive mm -hmm. than radio and mm -hmm. live music. Oh, great. Great to hear you say that. One of the things you said was you write songs that are old, stolen melodies. What does that mean? Well, we're we're borrowing so much from mm -hmm. a really rich body of American music mm -hmm. that uh, I'm a, under the impression that there's really no new and original, purely original thought in music. It's all been done. It's all begged, borrowed, and stolen. Even Bob Dylan was stealing from the greats. So when we write new music, uh, we're we're happy to leave that sort of footprint in the sand to let you know where it came from. You know, if we're taking a, a lick from a 1920s jug band out of Memphis, we want to let you know mm -hmm. um, that you can go hear this record. You can uh, um, ha have a little taste of it. Um, it's it's really wonderful getting to explore this really deep body of American music because it it's always it's it's a uh, I'm constantly learning something and I'm really surprised by it too. Um, you know, you might think country music is one thing, but man, country music is it's myriad. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are great at what you do, and uh, people around the world, I'm sure, are thrilled to hear you on The Voice of America and see you on VOA television and, and meet you for the first time, if this is the first time for some of them. Yeah. If people want to reach out to you guys, how do they go about doing that? Well, you could send us an email at our website. Which uh, is? Uh, it's crowmedicine.com, or you could write us a letter. We're at Box 60408, Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee, <laughs> USA. 37206 and invite them to perform yeah and so to... you let your consulates know you want the old crows you want us in a big way you know we're going to bring the barbecue and uh should we close on a tune yeah oh i'd love that, that all would right be let's great just play a that. little instrumental number shall oh, we thank boys? you all right thank you what old you crow feeling? medicine show how about a little uh, um little surprises little... here i like that old joe how about that one Thank you guys. Old Crow Medicine Show and it's 50 years of Blonde on Blonde. And thank you guys for joining us on The Voice of America. My name is Larry London. You're watching VOA Television.